We're now approximately five months out from a neurolysis or decompression of the common perineal nerve at the fibular head. You can see this incision from here. We did this because the patient had a significant foot drop um, and uh, had an EMG that demonstrated the nerve was compressed. He was not able to elevate his foot normally uh, and he would hear a flapping sound uh, every time he walked. And actually his wife heard this flapping sound. Um, he did have preserved some preserved um, eversion, but it was also extremely weak. So go ahead, it's been, been about five months. Go ahead and pick up your foot for me, up and down. Just to uh, uh, pick your ankle up for me, and down, and up. Yep, yeah, like that. Flap it like you're doing that. So how is that compared to where you were prior to surgery? Were you able to lift it at all before no, surgery? No, I don't think so. Very, very no, little. Very little. Yeah. yeah. So that's pretty remarkable. Do you still hear the flapping sound? I don't. Okay, except when you walk maybe long, long distances. Long time, right? yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and show me how you move your ankle outward and then inward. That was normal before, so now outward, yep. Good, excellent. And then let's see how you... Now, the slowest thing to come back is the great toe. It seems to always be lagging a little bit behind each other one, but go ahead and bring your toe up, and so it does come up now. You can see the tendon activating here, and it does stay up, and when I press against it, he has... Hold it up. Hold it there, hold it. He does actually have a fairly decent strength. I'd call that four minus out of five. So that's very good. So how would you consider this uh, leg for you? How much improvement do you think you've seen over the last few months? Oh, the last few months, I would say uh, at least 70% 70, 70 improvement. Excellent. Yeah. And you were able to uh, do some long distance walking recently. Yeah. Is that yeah, correct? I did, uh, uh, what did I do? One of those castles I did... Uh, 400 steps up that was and down and I was averaging like 14,000 steps a day. So, That's fantastic. Yeah, so fantastic. it's been no repercussions. One thing I will note just for full disclosure here, um, this nerve has to regenerate all the way down to this toe in order to get sensation back. That takes a long time. Uh, we're only five months now and right now he has a little tenderness right there that may be the regenerating front of the nerve. Uh, he has a little bit of numbness to the outside half of this foot, uh, but interestingly, the inside half is not numb at all, and it's pretty normal. So he just notices a little bit of numbness here, not in the sural distribution, which is down here, but it, probably in the superficial perineal nerve up here to these two toes. So, all right. Very good. Thank you. You know, and it's not, it's not a continuous numbness. If I'm working out with my, my uh, instructor, and blood's flowing and so on, and I don't feel any numb. It's when I'm idle. Okay. You know, when I get up in the morning, I go, oh, damn thing is I, it's numb. Or if I'm sitting around on the couch or chair, you know, you'll feel that. You, uh, you don't feel it. It's numb. Good. So that's about it. All right.